Hello everyone, this is Noble H. Mustache, and today we are here with another main association of Math Leaks problem. Um, meet 2, round 3, problem 3, October 2013. So, a committee of 3 people is randomly selected from a club uh, consisting of 11 females and 10 males. If A is the number of committees comprised of a dominance of females, so majority girls, and B is the number of committees comprised of dominance of males, so majority males, how many more committees are in A than are in B? Okay. So clearly this is a counting principles problem, not a binomial theorem problem. So we have three people just on this committee. And it's committee. So that means order does not matter. What do I mean by that? I mean like if you have a group of people and they're on a committee, then it doesn't matter like if one person's the leader. It's just it's just it's just a committee. So like if you have one boy and then two girls and then you have two goals and one boy, that's basically the same in this case. So what does that mean? It means we need to use combinations. So combinations are ways of calculating how to pick things without order, without caring about order. And then to care about order, if you do care about order, use permutations. So you can look that up online to see how to do that. But we're going to use combinations, not permutations. So that's the first step. So how... What are the different committees comprising of majority females? So if you have three people, what is a majority? If you have three people, a majority is two people. So we're going to have two girls. And what's this last person going to be? Well, we know we only have boys and girls. So it's either going to be a boy, or it's going to be a girl. So, you have the, so basically, we're either going to have three females, or uh, two females and one boy. So that's the majority females case. And then we also need to find the majority males case. So I'll, I'll do that later. Okay, let's just zoom on you. But first, let's try to figure out how many ways we can get three females on a committee. So we have 11, 11 females. So if we take 11 females, try to choose three of them. That's 11, choose three. That's, 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 that's our combination. So we just copy this out. And this is a lot of multiplication, in my opinion. It's, you just have to get used to it. You know? yeah. uh, hopefully, you're following what I'm doing. And 11 times 15. I'm not going to do that out, because that will take way too long. I also talked about it in, this, in my last video. Don't necessarily multiply things out until you're done with the problem, because there might be ways to simplify them. So, like, if you have 11 times 15, uh, maybe you have that memorized. But it's not too hard. Well, it's 165 actually, but don't necessarily do it until the end because that that you'll you'll see at the end a lot of times in mammal problems like if you save things until the end it will save you time. So yeah. So so I'm just gonna leave that to the end and go on to the next case, which is two females and one male. Um, so you're picking two goals from 11 goals, so that's 11 choose two. And then, if you pick one boy from ten boys, obviously you have ten boys, and you're picking one boy, so that's just ten. You could also say that's ten choose one, if you want to, but ten choose one is the same thing as just ten. Okay. Eleven choose two, that's eleven times ten, over two times ten, eleven times five times ten. And I'm also going to leave this. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that just like that. Okay. So majority males, what does majority males mean? It means you have two males, one of them's a female, or one of them's a male. So it's, it, as you can see, it's kind of like the flip of this. We're flipping it. So we're replacing all the males with females and females with males. So that's interesting if you just want to see that. If you just want to pause the video and see how it's kind of flipped like that. I, th I thought it was pretty cool. Anyway, um, we're picking, oh, up here. Since we have... Just remember to multiply those and not add those. Just remember to multiply, not add. When you when you you're counting things, like in counting principles, a lot of times you multiply different possibilities by each other. You don't you don't really add them. Like you add them if there's different cases. So like we're gonna add eleven times fifteen and eleven times five times ten. But you, it, within one case, a lot of times you just multiply. So I just want to point that out. You have to multiply them together. Um. So 2 males from 10 males is 10 choose 2 times, because we're multiplying, 
just like we did before. 11, because we have 11 goals, and we're picking one of them. So, yeah. 10 times 9 over 2. Actually, I'm going to move this. I'm going to take 9 times 10 over 2, just because... So you can see the 10 over 2. And times 11. Don't forget that. 9 times 5 times 11. So, yeah. Um... Actually, I'm going to move this. You see how you have 11 times 5 times 10 here? I'm just going to make that more obvious. 11 times 5 times 9. That'll just make it more obvious later. Whenever you see patterns like that, you'll want to rearrange things just so the patterns match up. Because it'll make things easier to see later on. So that's just that's just something I noticed. And if you notice that too, that, that'll really help. Uh, you, you'll see later. But you just you have to think ahead with these things. You just... When when you see patterns, you just have to match them up, and then a lot of times it just matches up perfectly. Sometimes it doesn't, but it it works out in this case. It's really nice. Oh, so what I was doing here, um, you have ten males. We're gonna pick three of them from that. So that's ten times three, ten times nine times eight, uh, three times two times one. Um, so eight, ten, so ninety times eight over six. I'm going to move the 8 over here. 8 times 15. So, that's 11 times 15, and then we have 8 times 15. So, you, you can also see that pattern, and that's going to help us later on, like right now. Okay, so we want to find, if you look at the problem again, majority females minus majority males, because that's how many more in A than in B. So, majority females is 11 times 15, and then we add, because it's different cases. So, that's why we're adding. 11 times 5 times 10. And then minus, and then you see these, with just 11 times 5, 8 times 5, actually, yeah, 11 times 5 times 9, plus 8 times 15. And then I'm putting that in parentheses, so we're going to distribute the minus sign. So we distribute the minus sign, and then I'm just going to move things around. Move this up. There you go. 11 times 15 minus 8 times 15. And then 11 times 5 times 10, minus 11 times 5 times 9. As you can see, I just moved things around, because now we, now the patterns kind of match up. So like here, you see we can factor out 15, 11 minus 8, and here we can factor out 11 times 5. So that's what I was talking about when this is going to help us later on, because if you just did like 11 times 15, and then 8 times 15, and 11 times 5 times 10, and then 11 times 5 times 9, and you follow order of operations regularly, it takes a lot of time. But if you use the distributive property, by finding patterns within the different terms, it really saves you time. So, what's 11 times minus 8? That's 3. So, you just have 15 times 3, which is a lot smaller than 11 times 15. So, that's how it helps us. 11 times 5 is 55. 10 minus 9 is 1. So, that, that also really helps us, because it 55 times 1 is 55. And then, what's 15 times 3? That's 45. So, if we add those together, that's 100. So, as you can see, like... None of the numbers we worked with were really, like, above three digits, except for 100. And that's our answer, by the way. So, I just wanted to point it out. Like, a lot of times the distributive property and the commutative property will just really... And the associative property, too. Will just, like, really help you with moving things around. And just... I don't know. I, to me, doing this makes more sense. To other people... This will be really confusing, but just to me, that really helps me. Because I don't need to work with, like, 550 or 495. I need to work with 45 and 55. So that, that'll, that'll save you time. That'll save you, like, a minute. So, yeah. I hope that helped. Uh, another interesting problem uh, with this problem. There's, like, four different cases, right? So you have three females, two females and one male, two males and one female, and females. This happens a lot in counting principles, and it happens a lot in probability. I try to avoid cases when I can, because I don't like cases. Uh, I think if you can, you should try to avoid cases, because a lot of times, especially in probability, I remember my math team, they would use cases, and they would get to like, I don't know, eight different cases, and then I would find a solution, and it would be like, there's no cases. There's just, like, one case, and it's just, like, I will do this problem later on. I will do this problem probably in a few months, but 
there's this problem where there's, you can do it in eight different cases, or you can just cube one faction. And that that's a really interesting problem. But in this case, in this case, um, yeah, the only way I knew how to do it was to split it up into cases. Yeah, I thought that was a good problem. Just the end is 100, guys. That that's so nice. Because if you look at all of this mess, you get like, if you actually do this out by yourself, which you can if you want to, you get 165 minus uh, 120 plus 550 minus 495, and it's just like really big numbers, which is simplified, that's why I did this, because I didn't want to do that. But yeah, it, it, it comes out to 100, which is so nice and friendly and happy. So yeah, and that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this problem, and have fun doing math!